Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Nodding. In this episode, I want to show you how to create a sequence of OBJ like this. So lots of mesh into um, stop motion or flipbook animation, but it's 3D. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna tidy up a little bit. So we have all these objects. I'm gonna select all, hit A, rotate it until it looks nice and correct in orientations. So I'm gonna save this very quickly. A N flipbook 3D. So I probably have done this in the past, but I'm gonna show you how to turn this into AR for GLB or USDZ. Um, yeah, animation nodes. I will be using animation nodes. First of all, we're gonna freeze um, all these transformations. Control A, freeze all transformations. And I'm hit M and move it into collections. And here with animation nodes, I'm just gonna use collection info. I'm gonna grab collections. I don't need, need this to calculate every frame. Okay. So I'm gonna hit W and look through every object. And for every object, I will make it so it's kind of scaling on and off so just the scale so this object so we can control the scaling now and we just need a simply like a compare comparison so if the index value is equal frame number simply do something and this is the boolean So we're gonna combine vector. So this boolean should be like zero or one, depending on the frame number, and that's gonna be the scale. So we have this. Okay, we already have our flipbook, and we can check how long this is actually. So I like the when he stopped there and then just back to default position. So 100, 130. The rest of the frame can be deleted. So yeah, you have our the flipbook creations. There's actually another way if you want to do this. You can try offsetting. Um, it's a slightly different. You can try vector offset. And from the compare, so let's say you have the original vector and you want to shift based on this value. You can actually do this. Just simply convert the Boolean value into float and plug this into the follow. So you have this converter string into follow. And this is something that you can use for the position if you like just gonna show you that so this guy um, it's done if you want to make this into AR and keep the size small you want to decimate and then control L link the modifier so every single mesh is gonna get this decimate so now you have this guy that's already decimated, but I'm just uh, giving like a lot of decimations. Okay, so I like this. It's uh, pretty much done. You want to bake it. Bake the keyframe and for every frame, this guy will be scaled on and off. Kind of like animating the visibility now that we are done we can actually get rid of animation nodes file export glb geometry apply modifier with the animation here turn off nla and turn off always sample animations actually before we do that i forgot with our animation here we need to make it constant so now we can file export 
GLB, apply modifier, animations, turn off NLA stripe, because you only have, you want a single stripe for all the animations, and then hit export, and hopefully, uh, let's say if we use Babylon sandbox, hopefully once this is done, we can simply drag and drop our GLB to work. Okay, it's gonna take a while. 130, right? So let's just wait for another 30 or 40 seconds. Okay, it's uh, almost done. Gonna wait a little bit. GLB takes a, a bit of time and from what I'm testing, sometimes like 100 or 150 frame of mesh, kind of like medium quality, will give you one gigabyte size. But our, since our one is already being reduced, we only have 40, 50 megabytes. So that's a kind of nice. And you just drag it into Babylon. If you have smartphone that can take GLB and turn it into animations, there you go, you have this animation. It's very clean, very nice, and you can turn it into AR. Okay, uh, yeah. If you are using USDZ, however, Apple's USDZ stuff, you will find that this not, doesn't actually quite work 100%, but I, if I'm using Google one, somehow, it works. I mean, so this is the one from Apple. The flipbook will look something like this, right? It's not great. If I'm using Google one, just gonna save it as blah.usdz. I'm gonna go to G, uh, to my root folder and hopefully. It's gonna take quite a while. I'm using the older version of this uh, USD from GLTF tool from Google. Uh, the resulting USDZ is actually much better. I think that's the one, it's almost, it's, it's pretty much done. Yeah, still flickering, but uh, yeah, I mean, it should actually work in general. But anyway, it's that's how you do it. Um, hopefully, you find this useful. Let me know if you have any anything to add. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty cool, and I really like this. Uh, oh, by the way, the source of this 3D scan is from Tobias. Thanks uh, for supplying this uh, scan. I uh, maybe. In the future, if someone wanna ask, I can give you the contact details. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 3D scan of full figure, human figure. You can scan anything basically um, as point cloud, or in this case, it's already turned into mesh. Um, the file size is big, but if you have like 5G internet, it shouldn't matter. This day, like one gigabyte sounds very big, but maybe tomorrow one gigabyte is like one megabyte or something, all right? So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.